Hi everyone, Rhett Wilsmore here with the Round 12 match report against St Bernard's for the reserves. Uh, very wet, windy, cold uh, and heavy conditions at home uh, against the side that were sitting seventh, um, albeit they had a number of senior players returning from injury. So we knew they'd be uh, no pushover. We welcome back uh, three boys uh, to the team. Jack McCorkle um, has returned from overseas. Really great to have him back around the club. Actually kicked a goal for us in the in the first minute and, and got us going. Um, so yeah, he, he brings a lot of energy. Um, James Brady returned from a, a pretty bad head knock earlier in the season, been doing a mountain of work around the club, so it was great to get him back um, out on the deck. Uh, and Ryan Walsh returned from a, a pretty bad um, hamstring injury to, to shore up our, our back line. Um, it was a pretty, as we said, we, we knew it would be a, a low scoring game. We focused on um, a, a couple of aspects of our um, our structures that we're, we're just looking to implement between now and uh, the lead into finals that are going to um, hold us up strong uh, when the whips are cracking later in the year. Um, and we went out and, and yeah, listened to instruction and were able to, to execute um, uh, uh, to um, exactly what, what what our plan was. So um, when in at quarter time, uh, two goals for to uh, just the, the one point. Um and, and just really pleased with, with how we're able to, to jump out of the blocks. They did come at us in the in the second quarter. Um, the, the momentum was with them, uh, no doubt. Um, they did uh, generate a couple of shots on goal and, and we were able to, to, to claw it back a little bit, but we did uh, get one late and we were able to go in at, at half time, uh, holding onto a, a 15 point lead. Third quarter, um, jumped out of the blocks really well. Um, we, we had full control of, of, of the game. Um, uh, and, and again, we were just able to really have some, some positive um, uh, passages of play. Great ball movement um, in, the, in the wet conditions and um, were able to, to go in at, at three quarter time with a 21 point lead. They did come at us in the, in the last quarter, there was no doubt about that. They got within 15 points and were surging so the leaders really need to stand up and they, they did exactly that. I was really um, pleased with the way in which the, the guys were just able to, to, to really um, nullify the, the contest and, and ensure that we, we got over the line. So a really, really good win, 20 point win um, on what was um, a, you know, a, a pretty good opposition and, and trying conditions and, and there was a really good feel in the room. In the room uh, after the game. Um, our better players, I thought Shiloh was absolutely fantastic. His, his best year of, uh, his best game of the year by far. Um, he, he was just, he, I knew the conditions would have suited him and um, he, he went out and, and, and just got the ball going our way every opportunity. So so well done to him. Um, I thought Walshie and Benno back behind the ball, uh, both read the, just read the ball beautifully um, and you know rarely the, did the ball get past them. So um, great work for those two boys. Easto was fantastic on a wing, kicked two goals in a low scoring game, having a, a a really good season for us. I'm, I'm really wrapped that he's he's found his spot and um, really enjoying watching him go about his footy. Uh, Tass had, had a bit of an indifferent uh, morning. He was in and out of the ones um, subject to a, a VFL uh, fitness test. So um, yeah, as it was, he, he played with us and just went out and played his role and um, you know just just a, a real link man um, role and uh, through, throughout the, um, the the two fifties and, and generated a lot of uh, inside fifties for us. So well done to Tass. Um, and I thought Bolton um, uh, Hamish Bolton was really good for us. He's come up uh, from the three um, about a month ago and um, playing him through a wing rotation he, he's been fantastic for us so um, that's great to see. Um, we are now third on the ladder, we're a game clear of fourth, um, however our next three uh, games we actually play fifth fourth and second so um, we're going to get a real good feel for where we're at in the next um, three to four weeks but um, yeah for, for the whole part we're controlling what we can control um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with with um, the uh, the output the, the boys are um, are getting, so um, we'll roll on next week against uh, Uni Blues, and um, yeah, we'll we'll speak to you then with another match report. Thank you.